I think as long as you don't <laughs> look to this side, you will be fine because it's still quite wide. But if you look at the view on the on the left side, it's super scary. And yeah, so I'm moving, moving. Welcome to the channel and welcome to season two on Sing China. Today, I'm going to start my video by having a breakfast. I've just ordered a portion of potatoes. It's slightly fried and still fresh and crunchy. 100 times better than the French fries. This has become my favorite food in the past few days. I've ordered it quite often and I found the secret is always in the seasoning. They put Sichuan pepper, chili pepper, salt, sugar, and I don't know what inside, but which makes it extremely tasty. And since it's lightly fried, it's still crunchy and it's not so dry. And that is quite a popular restaurant. Potato is definitely a local specialty. I've seen fried chopped potatoes, potato chips, Oh, and also the whole potatoes, uh, they bake it, uh, they fry it. Let me introduce you to Sha Chen, to Sha Tang. It's about 20 kilometers away from Yanjing. And it's a small town, but with a history of more than 2,200 years old. It was the gateway from Yunnan to Sichuan and further connecting central China. Wow, look at the mountain. <laughs> 
找找去。这、哎、今天你没有放假，那是麻辣。That's a peanut, a peanut. Um, that's a kind of a peanut candy. <laughs> oh, that breakfast looks so good. <音>老板，这个是什么呀？中午吃饭。哦，中午早，中午早的就几点上来了？你这，你这都有没有？来点我们中午。你看下去。There are a lot of good food. I will definitely come back later. Yeah,这是那个，就是悬崖上面有个小路。嗯，你走这里上去，上去不是那个房子走走完？嗯，就是人家房走完了，你一个梯梯，嗯，就这样朝上面滑滑滑了，滑了就滑了就转。哦，
So this is a road connecting Doshajan to the other villages. They get used to it. Probably they walk through this way every other day. But for tourists like me, it's it's still quite quite scary. That's a scary part. Oh my god. I think I just leave my bag here and try to walk walk that that part and then come back. This is where I am right now. Okay. It's I feel safer if I go like this. And that's a view ahead of me. Oh. oh, this view is amazing. I think as long as you don't look to this side, you will be fine because it's still quite wide. But if you look at the view on the on the left side, it's super scary. And yeah, so I'm moving moving very slowly there is a water pipe here and that's a rock <sighs> wow but this view is so amazing <laughs> they said they want to be my tour guide and they would take take me through that path but I I said no Now it's time for some food. Can you give me two? Yes. 
。这个是用什么做的呀？大米、小米、五谷杂粮的五谷杂粮啊，给你啊，三块三吧，好的，好的。好的好的谢谢啊，再见。I've got some of the um, self-made pancake. It looks so delicious. And this is the pickled vegetables. I guess it's all made by themselves as well. Wow, wow this looks so good. It's spongy, shiny. Mmm. Tastes great too. This must be the speciali specialty of Doxia Zhen, the smoked meat. This is a kind of a Chinese medicine, maybe it's called Tian Ma. And I don't know what is that. And this is a sausage, those are the pig feet. It's all smoked. They are making tofu right now, so they just boiled the grounded uh, soybean. They use a wok to cook it, and then they put, they scoop it out and put it in this piece of cloth, and then. And then the soy milk comes out, and they use this to make tofu. Wow, it smells so nice and the food is just, it's so fresh and it's all homemade. Uh, can you get this? This is what? Kuan mian. Kuan mian. I want to eat a small bowl of kuan mian, can you? I also want a bowl of noodles, that's more for food. That's my noodle. This noodle is quite wide. It's called kuan mian, which means wide noodle. Come with some, some beef. Wow, those are the real meat. And spring onions. It looks so yummy. Just小地震是吧? 嗯，那后面呢？后面已经刚刚歇了电了。She just told me there are some minor earthquake in the past, and those old houses they were shattered, and those new houses are built by themselves, and then it was renovated. The facade was renovated and financed by the government to make it prettier, more attractive to tourists. 这什么东西啊？当然不。
Leticia. They said it's made by themselves and she invited me for a few. No, you have your roll. Yes, 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 you have your she said it's the specialty of Dosha Gua and come here. She's asking me to join them for dinner. It was so nice of them. And this piece of their specialty, it's really good. Strawberry. Mmm. So good. Wow, this strawberry it's so good. It's full of flavor, unlike some of the some of the strawberries that you get in a supermarket. In China most of the tea are like that, loose tea. We don't really drink tea out of tea bag. A cute baby. This is Moyu tofu. This is a big goose egg and self made rice wine.
to get reconnecting Sichuan and Yunnan province by then everything the salt, cotton, tea, spices, Chinese medicine was carried on human back and also on horseback. The road was extremely narrow. It's only 1.7 meter wide. But nowadays, since it's a scenic zone, of course the roads are much wider. There are also some hang coffins on that part of the cliff. And I'm going to fly my drones to see if I can have a closer look. This kind of cliff coffin can be found not only here but also in other places in Sichuan, in Yunnan and even in Wuyishan. It's called Bo Ren Xuanguan and Bo Ren refers to the ethnic minorities of Bai Zu and Yi Zu if I am right. I haven't found an authoritative explanation as to why people did it and how they did it but there are a lot of speculations. Some said it's because the ethnic minorities they live on the cliff, they also bury themselves in the Cliff. Some others said it's a way of protection to protect the bodies from being attacked, being eaten by the animals. So somehow this remains a mystery. This is also the end of today's video. I hope you enjoy watching it. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.